thank you for hiding us, O oh Lord. Safe in your arms. We pray now that you would bless the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts. Let them be acceptable unto you and edify unto your people, we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. For his sake, amen. 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 On this July 4th holiday, I want to speak to you on the subject of be careful. Amen. Be careful. We celebrate the 239th uh, anniversary of independence of the United States of America. And America better be careful. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we better be careful. As Christians, it's important to realize that we are to obey God rather than man. And it is important for us to be careful about the things that come from the Supreme Court, the things that come from the Congress and the Senate. You better be careful about the things that even come from the Vatican. Because everything that comes from these places are not of God. Not of God. And it's important for Christians. Come on here, somebody. It's important for Christians to be careful. To serve God. Now, it was Peter who stood before the Sanhedrin. That's the Supreme Court of his day. That was a court that condemned Jesus to death. Uh -huh. That the, the Sanhedrin, and they told Peter and John, we want you to stop teaching and preaching uh -huh. and healing in this man's name. Yes, sir. Meaning the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But uh, Peter says, now you judge between us, mm -hmm. but as for us, we're going to obey God yeah. rather than man. Amen. We have to obey God rather than men. Now, there is a wonderful, wonderful reward for obeying the Lord. Uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and uh, verse 1 it says, And it shall come to pass that thou shalt hearken diligently. Now, tell me, goings, the word for this is. <laughs> if you take that to Julio, I guess. <laughs> to hearken diligently. So God wants us to hear his word. And, and, and you know, have you ever tried to hear something and folks were all talking and, and you had time, be quiet. I want to hear this. When it comes to the Word of God, you need to make everything around you still so that you can hear. Not just hear carefully. Be careful. Hear carefully the Word of God. Hear it. Hear it. Hear it. Hear it. Uh, <laughs> to observe what the Lord has commanded. To observe what the Lord has. That, that means you don't just hear it, but you put it into action. All right, my God. Um, how many times have you heard bringing your tithes into the storehouse? Now, you've heard it oftentimes. We're rattling papers and doing something where we're not as quiet and as focused as we need to be. But we've heard it for years and years and years in this house. Yes. But then the second thing that the Lord would have us to do is after hearing it, to observe it, to do it. That's right. To do it. See, it's, it's, it's not just for hearing. You hear it to do it. You hear it to do it. And not only that, also in this book of Deuteronomy, we are told that what the Lord has commanded us to hear and to do. Deuteronomy chapter 6 tells us we are to diligently teach it to our children. 
diligently teach what the Lord has said to us, commanded us, what the Lord wants us to do. Honor thy father and thy mother, remember of the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. To hear it, thou shalt not covet anything that is thy neighbor's, and to do it, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything on earth, above the earth, under the earth, in the waters, under the waters. Yeah. Hear it. Yeah. And regardless of what any man says, yes, sir. Yes, sir. regardless of what any, oh, thou shalt not commit adultery. Ha! Even years ago, what did the Isley brothers say? <laughs> Can't rub the love. When you want what? <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord said, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Amen? Amen. Be careful to do what the Lord has commanded. Be careful to hear what the Lord, some of us knows more what the Supreme Court says than we know what the Lord says. Amen. 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 Have a witness in the house. Amen. Some of us are more in tune with CNN than we are with the B-I-B-L-E. Am I right about it? From the early morning, Dean, until late at night, we got TV off. All of that coming into us. But what did the Lord say? Now, this is what the Lord says. He says, now, if you will hear, if you will do, if you will teach uh, the things I command you this day, thy God shall set thee on high above all nations. Now, Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Um, I was reading a book. It was a black history book that was written the turn of the century. And the forward of the book, the introduction of the book, was written by <laughs> Dr. Booker T. Washington. And Dr. Booker T. Washington made this statement that I'll never forget, or wrote these words that I will always remember. He says, now this, this book was written around 1900. And he made the statement that we as a people have come further in 35 years than it has taken some people to come in centuries. Do you see what God will do for you? Children, do you see what God will do for you if you serve him? Do you see what God will do for you if you diligently seek him? Do you see what God will do for you? His word says he'll set you up Hallelujah. high above all. And you know when the Lord sets you up, can't nobody bring you down. Amen. People will try, but they can't bring you down. Why? Because my hope is built Amen. on nothing less than Jesus' blood. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is, oh, verse 2 of the 28th chapter of Deuteronomy says, all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Like a, like a tsunami. Don't you want to be blessed? Yeah. Don't you want God to bless you? Who doesn't want to be blessed? And Moses says, all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake you. You shall, if you hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thine herd, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shalt thou be your basket in the store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. If you're careful, God will bless you with more than you can have. Yeah. I wonder if there's anybody here can witness to the fact God has blessed me. Amen. Has God blessed you? Amen. Is God blessing you right now? How many of us do you believe God will bless 
tonight, this afternoon, in the future is what I'm sure. God will bless us if we hearken diligently unto what he has commanded us. If we don't take for granted the love he has expressed and shown and given to us in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who came down and took on himself our sins and took him to the cross of Calvary. And there he died as a propitiation, as a satisfaction for your guilt and my guilt. Now don't take it for granted, y'all. Don't take it for granted because I'm here to tell you that if you take what God has said for granted, you are on the downward road. If you take what God's word has said to you and disregard it, you are on the downward road. What happens to the person who will allow themselves to disregard the word of God? What happens to the person who will allow themselves to not carefully guard, not carefully heed the word of God. Be careful. Turn to your neighbor and say, be careful. Be careful to hear God's word. Lest, if you're not careful, your blessings will be impeded. You know, have, have you ever heard some people say, why has God done this? Why has God done this to me? Well, brothers and sisters, God might not have done it. You might have done it to yourself. You might have done it to yourself. You might have done it to yourself. Turn to your neighbor and say, you might have done it to yourself. You might have done it to yourself. Because when you disregard God's word, when you disregard God's way, good God Almighty, you impede the blessings of God in your life. And let me tell you something. God has said the miracle on high. I remember in 1970, Dr. Gardner Taylor gave a talk about the purpose and what God meant for America. But America is slipping and sliding away from the tenets of God. And I'm going to tell you something. America is hurting herself. America is impeding her own blessings. But I'm so glad that there's a remnant in America. There's somebody in America who's going to obey God rather than men. There's somebody in America who will not bow the knee to Baal nor kiss his image. There's somebody in America who will stand up for what is right in the sight of God. Be careful that your blessings be careful. Good God from Zion. Y'all need to hear me. You need to tell your neighbor to be quiet for a minute. <laughs> when you disregard the law of God, you bring destruction on yourself. You bring destruction on your family. You bring destruction on your community. You bring destruction on your nation when you disregard God. When you disregard God. You impede your blessings when you disregard God, when you make laws that God told you not to make. When you call wrong right. <laughs> when you do those things that are have been abominable for millennia. It is a means of destruction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just like Southern and Gomar. Uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. yes, sir. Read this. Y'all know what you, you know what killed Southern and Gomar. Do you know what brought fire grims down on Southern and Gomar? Do y'all know what brought Do you know what destroyed Simon and Omar? Yeah. Yeah. Disobedience. Sexual disobedience. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I didn't mean to go here, but I'm going. Homosexual disobedience. Yeah. Yeah. Brought the toll. God told God, get out. Yeah. Get out. Abraham tried to save it. Couldn't find ten righteous people to save the place. Get out. Now let me tell you something this 
same God who destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah is able to bring America down to her knees. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I hope Obama gets out quick, but he can bring America down to her knees. For the sin that we are celebrating, for the sin that we call right, for the sin that is going to destroy the very fabric of this nation. I wish I had a witness today because I know I'm going to get some feedback on this. But oh, here I stay. Here I stay. Here I stay. Good God Almighty. I don't know what, how, what more good I can do in American Baptist churches now. But here I stay. I'm old fashioned, but here I stay. Somebody might say I'm set in my ways, but here I stay. Good God Almighty. The world has gone crazy. The church has gone crazy. The nation has gone crazy. The Supreme Court has gone crazy. Everything has gone crazy. But here I stand in the name of Jesus. Here I stand. For close to 50 years, I've been marrying Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. become a hindrance to the word of God. That's sin before the Lord. Here I stand. Here I stand. Here I stand. Because I love my family. I love my Jesus. I love my church. I love my family. I love my community. Here I stand. Hallelujah somebody. I want God to continue to bless us. Yes, For over 120 years, the Lord has blessed this church. Yes. And I don't want to bring anything into the mix here into Zion uh -huh. that will cause the blessings of heaven not to flow this way. Come on, somebody. Yes. Lord, because the Lord says, you know, I, I, I'll set you up. But if you aren't careful to hear my precepts, if you're not careful to hear my judgments, if you're not careful to hear my commandments, if you're not careful to do them and to teach them, I'll bring it down. <laughs> I'll bring it down. And I don't want to go, anybody here want to go backwards? Anybody here want to go down? Well, you better be careful. We are going higher and higher, day by day. What are we doing, D? Day by day, getting closer to the Lord. With the Lord, what? As our my Savior, my God, and my keeper. Come on, choir. I'm going to get home. Be careful. The sermon is over. Do me a favor, touch your neighbor one more time. Say, be careful. Be careful not to disregard God's love. Touch somebody else and say, be careful. Be careful to serve the Lord. Be careful that you don't defeat your blessings. Be careful that you don't. Stop, stop in your life. Be careful. Just 
We're going to open the doors of the church right now.